So in the process of creating the altar book for the Book of Common Prayer 2019 that came out on Anglican Liturgy Press this year, I received some unbound signatures um, to sign off on, and I thought they would be the excellent building block for a medieval altar, bo altar book, which I, uh, has been the, this project. So I sewed them onto leather thongs, which I'd never done before, uh, but it was um, really quite a good experience. I really liked how the wax thread gripped the leather thong, and it created a much thinner uh, strip to lace into the boards later on, rather than having some big piece of um, hemp or something that you have to thin and t uh, thin down, some twine to thin down. The leather um, had a much lower profile. So sewed it together, and then of course rounded and backed the book block. And then a, a technique I uh, copied from Four Keys Book Arts, uh, creating sort of a sub spine layer where you um, create little cutouts for each of the raised bands and the lace-in thongs and uh, to both smooth out the surface where the signatures come together uh, and also to create um, a leather lining on the inside of the covers to match the square uh, where the foldovers are from the leather cover. So I thought that technique uh, worked uh, quite well as you'll see in the final product. So then from there, uh, sewed the end bands. And I feel like I'm really getting the hand of the bead on front uh, end band stitching. And I did this over made uh, leather, um, like a rounded leather roll. Again, the way that the thread grips leather is so satisfying. And I was able to also form it with a bit of a curve, which really helped with the sewing. And there's the finished product and how it turned out. I'm quite pleased with that. I feel like I'm ready to move on to the next um, kind of end band. I, want, I really want to try the monastic uh, chevron style. So then there was prepping the boards. Uh, you'll see I chiseled out uh, where the thong would sort of rest naturally, and then the hole for, through which it will go. Lace the boards on, uh, voila, there it is. Uh, let it sit in the press to kind of also uh, smush down a little bit. And I, I sanded the edge of the boards to have that, so there wouldn't be a sharp edge of wood against the leather. Uh, and the way that medieval books also have a, a beveled edge. Um, then of course, preparing the leather. And this was um, a burgundy, uh, pure goat skin, um, unrolled, veg tanned, uh, so it's a natural grain on the front side, on the top side. So I'm just cutting that out the square is what this is a picture of. And then um, pasted it with a number of layers of wheat paste and then uh, put it onto the book itself and tied it up to um, dry and, and take its form. Uh, one thing I learned in this process is that when you're going onto wooden boards, some sort of either PVA or methyl cell mixed into the wheat paste would have been good. It didn't make as strong a bond as it does when you do wheat paste on board. Um, oh, and I did do the thing of having, a, at the same time as doing this, wheat pasting down just a thick piece of paper on the inside of the board so that as it dries, it stays um, fl flat rather than kind of warping it away from the book block. And here I was using a new tool um, made for me um, as a gift uh, from my friend Jordan Missan, um, who made it and in his machine shop, and it's a double line uh, fillet, uh, which worked exceedingly well. It was a great pleasure. And then uh, here, just stamping with my own tools. I think I'm doing the uh, fleur de lis here in the corners uh, with the hot stamp. And here is the finished product. I rubbed in, as I always do, some of the uh, leather sealing. Um, I don't know what to call it. It's sort of like a Vaseline texture paste that Kiwi makes uh, to finish it off. Oh, I, of course, I added um, the metal bosses. Uh, I tried using um, sweet almond oil on the end of the stamps on the back, which is a technique I saw in Joseph Cambrus. I always was using too much oil. You can see it's real blotchy and kind of stained there, but oh well, um, next time I'll probably get a bit more precise with that. But overall, um, I'm really pleased with how this book turned out. You'll see um, I put, tried putting some textile on the inside, which was kind of a whim, which I don't know if I'd do again, but I think it turned out all right in this one. And then gold on the end of the, uh, on the front side of the sewn uh, end paper. Um, and yeah, there's, uh, there is this altar book. I decorated the front in uh, the style that is associated with Nuremberg in the 15th century, where you have the text on the front and kind of tapestry type vine work and uh, alternating repetition of stamps all in kind of a double nine fold panel. Um, yeah, so here it is. I'm selling this on Etsy, if any of you are interested in buying it. Uh, it's got three ribbons. It doesn't have the tabs of the um, one that you'd buy from Anglican Liturgy Press, because I don't really have a way to make uh, proper tabs. But um, 
uh, yeah, I'm pretty pleased, and uh, on to the next one.